what a game that was. I thought, honestly, I feel like I've been to the moon and back or the fucking menopause or something because that was just, I mean, I, I still can't work it all out. What a game. What a fucking game. I mean, at 4 1 down, you're thinking the worst, you know. You're thinking the song that we sing about Spurs, it might even happen to us, you know. I mean, such was the clinicalness of Ajax. I mean, this game was built against the best two youth teams in Europe and it lived up to its fucking billing. I mean, it was just an absolute privilege to have witnessed every single moment. It had everything, seriously. I mean, what an atmosphere in the end. What an atmosphere. Absolutely rocking the bridge. But before that, um, well, when it was 4-1, it was like, um, it was virgin. You could, the players would say, come on, get behind us and everything else. But, um, I mean, we certainly fucking responded. It's the reason why Frank was walking around the pitch at the end, clapping all four sides, because the bridge was absolutely rocking and responded to an incredible fight back. And um, great switch, absolutely great switch, Reese James. What a player he is, he's fucking absolutely. I just love that player. He's just was so much, got so much better balance. But it was an absolute privilege. I've got to tell you, I'm, you know, probably one of the only teams to come here. Stamford Bridge, you know, the opposition, and don't sit in a low block. I had to come to play their stuff, and they certainly did, and they just three set pieces just killed us, you know. And um, when we, funny enough, we almost brought it back to three two, where uh, Save Raspel Equator was just going to launch, and then the ball goes up the other end. And it's 4-1 and you're thinking, game over, complete and utter game over. And then we get one back, the crowd gets behind the team and then we had the double sending off and then 4-3, 4-4 and then almost, fucking VAR, eh? Uh, it almost could have been fairy tale stuff in the end. I mean, as it stands right now, I believe we're all on seven points, Valencia, Chelsea and uh, Ajax. And I think we're in second spot. Only on goal scored, I believe, because in the heads to heads, we're all level you devils. Um, we've got the edge over Ajax. Ajax have got the edge over Valencia. Valencia have got the edge over us. So it's all to play for in the Mestalla. And it's not a stadium that we're not uh, used to. You know, in our history, we've, we've, we've won there twice. Uh, so we're going to have to get something, because what we don't want to do is lose that game. And then Valencia and Ajax in the last game, let's assume they were both on uh, 10 points. We don't want to have to win our last game against Lille, which I think we will do. Uh, and then them two play out a bloody draw. Uh, that's the last thing we want, you know. So we're going to have to get something at, at Valencia because if we get a draw there, I can see Ajax winning that last game. Uh, you know, it was just, what, just an absolute privilege. It really, really was. It was just. Uh, yeah, as I say, I'm still recovering now. I'm, I'm still outside the bridge. I'm, most of the time now, it's, you know, it's, it's what? Quarter to eleven. Uh, you know, there's still loads of people still around. It's just fucking absolutely crazy because everyone's reveling in it all. You know, um, just a stunning, stunning comeback, stunning night in the Champions League, and this is the reason. And this is what we're getting this season, isn't it? Just. You just can't fault it. Just, I, I'm just elated with what I've watched. Absolutely, what I've watched. Fantastic stuff. Four four. The ended. What a game. What a game. <laughs>